Off the top at six tonight, nearly two years after the devastating Surfside condo collapse, there are new findings about a possible cause for why the Champlain Tower South came crashing down. A new report was released today. And from what it shows, the problems began in the pool deck. And let's get right out now to Local 10's Glenna Milberg, live in Surfside, with our top story at six tonight. Glenna. Five hours of updates from NIST. That's the National Institute of Standards and Technologies. That's kind of like the NTSB of buildings that collapse. And that's the investigators who are looking into what happened here. Uh, they've been giving updates, but today's was really eye popping, really focused on the pool deck here and what looks to be a fatal flaw there. I come, I pray, I cry. It's very sad. No closure, no conclusions. How is the building still standing with so many, so many violations? Martin and Pedro Langsfeld said as much to the panel of investigators who have zeroed in on Champlain Tower South's weakest link. The pool deck area, uh, it's somewhat a leading uh, hypothesis. One of two dozen hypotheses under scrutiny, a massive multi-science probe into how and why Surfside's doomed condo collapsed seven minutes after that pool deck did. It reveals it was doomed from the 1981 start. Today's update, the deck and slab there was not as strong as it was supposed to be from the get-go. The red you see are findings of severe deficiencies. The design of the structure of CTS failed to meet the codes and standards applicable with water to cement ratios that suggest the concrete may lack sufficient durability. Also, the concrete residents saw cracking and crumbling was poured around an amount of steel exceeding maximum permitting. The strength provided by the design was only about half of that required by the original codes and standards. Definitive answers are still two years away, they believe. Families wonder where is accountability? So many buildings have violations on them, and what do you get? You get a fine and that's it, you pay your way out of it until something like this happens again. And where is justice? Why did it happen? Who's at fault? The Langsfeld also testified at that NIST meeting via Zoom and the panel members heard a lot of their frustrations. Meanwhile, aside from that investigation, there is a Miami-Dade Police Department investigation, a death investigation also ongoing. And depending on the findings, eventually that may well turn into a criminal investigation. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Surfside tonight, Local 10 News. Nearly two years since that collapse. Thanks a lot there, Glenna. Also